Uh, yeah, That's he's kind of. I, I know Stay Green still likes to ban Scout even still, but yeah, um, yeah, in like cases like this. It's quite funny to see they nerf Tempia slightly. Now people don't even look at him anymore. Yeah. Like you see people <laughs> play him sometimes, but it's just they, it's quite funny because then he he was the go-to hero everyone blind banned him or first picked him because yeah. he was just so massive. But now they nerfed his damage. That is, it's. it's they nerfed his damage, I don't know, not too much, but a little bit, but it does a lot. It, like, you can feel it when you play the hero, maybe not from the I'm outside of the and that's a quite interesting pick. That is. I did not see that one coming. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, it's almost as if they're saying, go ahead, have Tempest, and we'll just take Andromeda and, you know, have the potential to be able to stop it, obviously, even with a shrunken head, but that this also shows that they're going to be not running a jungler, obviously, and Going to be going more for that 2 2 1 setup, very likely. So, um, Unless they're running Carry Andrew. Yeah. That's Which I think <laughs> 12, 12 would appreciate if he was watching. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that could be a thing. I mean, her skill set definitely could definitely speak. The only downside is obviously her range is fairly yeah. weak, but I mean, individual, uh, her skills and individual, it definitely has potential to actually be her pretty skill set, yeah, Her skills make up is, I would say it's. Just the same level as Engineer, I think the skills are so good, especially if you decide to run a hard carry. Yeah. Potential really, is there. Yeah, I really like the hero. Yeah. Oh, well, the final pick for DCX, they're putting a lot of thought into this one. And that or he's just AFK, but... They're deciding if they, whether they want a jungle or not. Good yeah, they want jungle. Yep. We do that a lot sometimes as well. They do go the Tempest, so jungle is going to be happening here from Justice League. And now you have Lion Esports Club starting the next tier of the bands, of course. But again, kind of like a, it's it's if your lines over here, you really you almost expected that tempest to happen to an extent. I mean, it, yeah, it's hard to leave that hero just left open and not picked up, especially with the synergy that's already coming out from DCX. I mean, Kraken bubbles tempest is just great, great team fight potential right there yeah. between those three heroes alone. So for sure. But now, where's Lions gonna go? Is the yeah. question. Yeah, I mean they. There's a, it's quite funny how different teams value heroes one another because we value Warbeast very high. They didn't even ban him, blind ban him, or anything. Didn't even pick him. Like Against us, keep a Warbeast blind ban every time. Doesn't matter what team you play, every time. Yeah. He also, so, so you think about the situation too, though. You know, Super KGE, you got Devour, you got Prisoner, yeah. you got Ravener. I mean... That's what we're doing. We just blind ban his hero. Yeah. <laughs> but we we just don't. I mean, all the skill shot hooking heroes. Nah, get rid of that. We don't want that shit. <laughs> yeah. It's just why deal deal with it if you can ban it. You know. So yeah. That's what we did. Yeah, we noticed that yesterday. Hey, speaking of Dampier, Hans gonna get to take it out right there. Yeah, it's quite odd to see when they run a jungler to ban Dampier because that's true. He's yeah. no he's known for just going to jungle, kill the entire jungle with Tritax in twenty seconds. Yeah. So. A scout on top of that, even kind of a little bit of a. Maybe not expected them to run scout, but still, just in case. He just doesn't want to deal with the hero. That's yeah. yeah. Doesn't want to get them. Let's a see what they go for. See, Warbis is still open. Oh. We we would have snap picked that. Uh yeah. <laughs> I think I think ST would as well. Yeah. You see, prisoners the final one. So you still got Ravener, Devour as possible options for Super KG. You see the right click of Orbeez, but no, they're gonna go Moon Queen here first. <laughs> They'll say, "We'll show you how it's done." <laughs> yeah, they want it. Uh, they wanted the Moon Queen, I guess. It looks like maybe, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of carries here that can contest with Moon Queen. Maybe Soul Stealer is really good here in this matchup. I personally like Soul Stealer a lot with the buff. He does a lot of damage. Yeah. I remember, yes, I could four click. I four hit the hack on the other team. <laughs> uh, I killed him like four hits. Yeah. Getting uh, so, 40 souls now definitely helps. Oh, oh they, they choose Devour over, over Revenor. Yeah. It's quite interesting. Going back to the roots right there. Yeah. The Super KGE. Knock on the Ravener. Say, well, what, we want to pull you in instead. And, yeah. Uh, you know, good synergy with Engineer, obviously, as they've shown many, many times, so. <laughs> yeah, that's that's who they're gonna go with in the end. Also a little bit. Uh, I don't even want to say beefier. I mean, can eventually just be a lot more tankier, but Ravener's pretty tanky himself too. Yeah. That electrical feedback and whatnot. So. Okay. Uh huh. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. 
I mean, it definitely fits the AOE synergy mold. Like, mm -hmm. they got I, that going, but. Yeah, I don't like the FA pick that much. I think there's a lot of other options that's way better here. Yeah. I talked about this with Insane as well. So Steeler is probably the carry in the game that deals out the most amount of damage, like soul burst, hands, and Let's everything. But he on. is squishy. He's hard to fit in lanes. But you know, so you know, Sosia would be really risky because they can just man up on him because you see they don't run the jungler. They don't have an obvious suicide. They can run the Haggard suicide, but they yeah. can also run the bottom. So it's a risky pick on Sosia. So if he's more safe because he's a good laner, like with the Valdi and the Skeleton, so they can always contest the lanes. So I think that's just the way they think. They just want to get out of the laning phase without feeling completely shit on. Yeah. Yeah, Forsaken Archer, it's definitely been a while since, uh, at least on Holland Castle, you've seen. I know he's popped up here and there a couple times in some yeah. matches recently, but um, definitely it's been a little bit since we've seen him here on Holland Castle. So excited to see what Imba Boy's able to do on uh, on the Forsaken Archer this time around. I don't see him too often. So as far as their laning goes, I, I guess, is, so we're going to be seeing just protect the Forsaken at the top lane probably. You got power going top with him. Bubble suicide crack in mid, maybe, or, or do you think it's gonna be like a crack in power mancer mid? Um, yes. mm. It can be either or. It's the same playing the kraken, so it might be kraken off lane and then a bubble's mid and then free True. farm top forsaken with a pyro. Yeah. Because if you look at their the heroes they are on, Saint is most he's always off lane, I assume. Yeah. As far as I remember, so. But they can do either or they can do Forsaken Soul Top, Kraken Pyramid, but Kraken Pyramid is not the biggest kill potential in the game. Like they don't really have a setup stun or anything. Yeah. So. Yeah. I was gonna he did just yeah, sorry, he just he did just roll last game one v two mid, so That's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He can handle it, he can handle it. Um yeah. oh, I was just gonna say, you know, they're looking more into it as well. It's about damn time. The uh the idea that they're going against a Devo engineer and, and you know, if anything, having the pyromancer there, it just makes it more of a another target <laughs> yeah. to want to kill. So yeah, it makes a lot of sense when you really think about it that, that yeah. way too. So Yeah, uh, I think they should probably put Kraken solo there. And then Pyro, because Pyro is look at Pyro's Islands. What is he gonna do there? <laughs> <laughs> just like last game, he played the puppet last game, and yeah, he's that. not good. Yeah, so they're probably just gonna run and stack with him, and yeah, they're gonna try to protect their jungle. We'll see how uh, successful that is. Lions, they are mm -hmm. sending four players up there eventually, and actually, uh, are they gonna be running a tri lane? Pool region on Devour, so they might run a tri lane up top, cause. Yeah, because they usually don't pull Reed into okay. Super KT. So they, yeah, I think he's solo mid and then try lane top. So they're basically calling the lanes here, you would think, from DCX because of their decision to send the defensive short lane. Yeah, they're literally copying uh, DCX strat now, long lane Moon Queen with a try lane. Yeah. That's, so they just want to play their game and <laughs> beat them in it, I guess. That's, See that's if what they it, can. Yeah, exactly. Lock down the Forsaken Archer. So. Yeah. This is going to be interesting because obviously you see Pyromancer right here, by the way. I assume he's just going to ward. Or, uh, I don't think they're going to. Are they going to aggressive to lane bottom? No, I see, yeah, he's just going to ward. He actually wards at the Conqueror pit area. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> I, what? Does that even see the rune? Does I it? don't. I would. I don't even think it does. No. I, I, I hope maybe, for his team. Maybe just I, a barely bit of it, yeah. yeah. I hope for his team it does because if, if, if it does, it's quite a good ward. That would never get countered. Yeah. I, I mean, I would like to think it does. I mean, I, th I find it hard to believe that they're doing that, not expecting to see the. I mean, yeah. they do got the top rune as well spotted, so. Yeah. But uh, you see, they're trying oh. to counter here off the bat. Wait, were they not able to? Uh, I mean, they don't, range, but... they don't see it. Okay. They don't see it because they need the new upgrade courier. There we go. Well, yeah, he does see it. Oh, he's saw for a second. Never mind. <laughs> he's like, oh, he, he has to stand oh. on a very simple spot. Interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there you go. So, oh, here we go. Lanes. Yeah, yeah they They know this. This is risky. This is risky when you swap lanes like this. You see, when you come to your lane mid, Devour already had like one wave of completely free farm. Level two. Level yeah. Six, one now. I feel like Devour is going to be doing well against Pyro if they mid. Well, and you also have the adjustment now from them. I mean, they're going to set Engineer, so now this is more their natural two, two man lineup here. Yeah. In the middle. NG, NG, uh, Devara, they definitely run this. So Forsaken Archer and Pyromancer both target. Oh, the Archer, the Warlock even pulled in right there. Yeah. If that connected, that was probably a kill, so. 
Uh, these lanes definitely um, favors Lee inside because he top, they already got lane control because they didn't have a bubble in the lane early on to yeah. maintain the lane control with power denying. So he comes up here, he's not going to be able to get anything done. Yeah. He's trying to lead, but Mukin's going to completely free farm. They should be losing mid as well. And bottom, it's a hag against the Kraken. Depends on his skill build on Jonas. Yeah, he goes two and horn, so he should be winning this. Yeah. As well. So basically, they're winning three lanes. <laughs> so a lot's going to rely on St. Rocks then. Playing this, uh, playing this yeah. Tempest, then safe to say, him having a yeah. good start. You see his jungle, by the way. Um, he only has the pole camp blocked here, so he is able to work with the others at least. But uh, but yeah, it's it's always so frustrating. I'm sure playing against Devour, knowing that there's that there's that hook chance, especially against Super KG's Devour. Yeah, he is the best Devour in the game. Yeah, no doubt, he's really good with that hero. Knowing that it could just fly at you at any second, and you constantly have to be sidestepping. So, Tempest, look at what Tempest is doing. He's actually coming to the middle lane. He goes level 2 Glacial Blast here. Mm -hmm. They want to try to set something up, but I don't know if they're going to get that opportunity. I mean, Pyromancer is actually going for the bottom rune. It happens to be a haste rune. Yeah. Gonna it's quite, it up. quite unlucky timing, because obviously Engineer is not there, so he plays passive on the Devourer. So, Tempest yeah. is not going to be able to do anything. So, he runs back to the jungle. Yeah, you don't want to spend too much time there, obviously. So back into the jungle he goes, and uh, he's going to continue to farm that. Top lane, as you expected. Bubbles has zero creep farm. He is level two, but Moon Queen 17 and 10 to start. So Fousey's having an amazing time here at this top side again, as expected. How's the bottom matchup going, though? 16 and 11 Hag, 5 and 0 Kraken. So, yep. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Hag is dominating that as well. So, yeah, again, all three lanes. Definitely going more towards Lion Esports Club. So. ECX has a lot that they're gonna need to have happen. I mean, yeah. Look, look at the golden experience, and you have the jungler, man. That's not where you wanna be. Yeah. You gotta give credit to Lions. I mean, they called it right yeah. off the bat. They sent the aggressive trial and that forced the decision out of DCX to move, and it's just not made it for the better in the end. Uh, really, I mean, it's just it's kind of necessary to move. Oh, the hook attempt right there, just missing again. But again, it does keep you on your toes. Tempest again is coming back in. I mean. He's spending a good amount of time trying to set up ganks. Now, I mean, you do see the camps right here. He's actually still farming with the elementals yeah. in the yellow camps. That's not the biggest loss, really, but he's not going to get that gank. And now, actually, Andromeda is going to find him. Oh. Yeah. Oh, middle lane. They are going to go in right here. Dodging the nice stun from Pyromancer right there. Does devour. Super KGE using the hatred. But at what cost right here? Down he goes. And Forsaken Archer is going to live. So Super KGE. Oh. Got a little too crazy right there. Hanskin will finish off Forsaken Archer with the Aurora. Nice now they're going kick. for Pyromancer. Nice kicks on, on top of the Comet. The auto attacks to follow, and down goes Pyromancer. And now Tempest, actually. This could be dangerous for him. And Dramata Comet's done. Not going to be up, actually. Doesn't have mana for it. So he will be fine, but <laughs> that was interesting. Oh, that's really interesting. Really odd sequence. You saw Tempest and Dramata running like right next to each other, but they couldn't see each other. That was quite funny to yeah. watch. Nice man up there from the boy. Now he mans up. <laughs> yeah, right. So, I mean. Well, I mean, that was also, it was it was both a good play and a bad play by Super KGE. I mean, he did a yeah. great job sidestepping the Dragonfire from yeah. Pyromancer, but then he went a little too ballsy there. And uh, obviously we saw the end result with him getting bloodlusted even. So, not exactly how you wanted it to play out. But still Lions, I mean, they do come out on top of the two-for-one exchange. Yeah. And uh, back to the middle. Look at Bubbles. <laughs> What was this camping mid now? They're going to go for initiation. Devourer's going to be jump kicks. Not going to be missed right there. Good spread coming out. Shelter from Bubbles. Not going to happen. He knew it wouldn't be nearly enough damage, so yeah. not going to waste the mana. Ooh, they, they are they're spending a lot of resources here in the <laughs> <Yeah>. middle. <laughs> I was just about to say the four years, man. It's wasting time. They really yeah. want to stop it. The lead is just scoring for Lions, and this is quite odd to see when the other team has the jungler. Like, yeah. So, yeah. And you want to farm bottom still dominating this? I assume so. Yeah, really dumb. 30 and 18, 13 and 0. Yeah. That is one sided down there. So across the board again, Lions is looking pretty good, even though they got bloodlusted there. Um, Tempest, he has the Ring of Sorcery now. He's going to be able to pick up Boozy if he even wants that yeah. just yet. But Fusi, and also top, Fusi only missed two CS top. Really? Like, okay. Yeah, he only missed two CS. He's free 7 at GPM. <laughs> Top four. And that's really good for a long lane. Hard yeah. carry. So good job on yeah. his part. 
He's able to make it make it happen. Bubbles, you see again, just leeching that experience. So trying to hit level two, but or trying to hit level three even. But yeah, this is a safe lane, Bubbles. The level two. Yeah. <laughs> and this is this all this all comes back to the small lane swapping early on. Jeez. <laughs> Look at the, oh my god, if he gets the range actually. Yeah, uh, Bubbles won. might be in trouble. Okay, yeah, he's gonna be fine hugging the trees. Yeah. Oh my god, oh, is he manning up? Ball. He is. The Aurora comes out. There's a take cover preemptively. He knows he's like not much I can do. Gonna try to dodge something, but. Big dive yeah. right there from Lions. Well played by Henskin coming in. Nice yeah. Aurora. Yeah, first of all, I was like, well, what are you doing, Moon Queen? But yeah, obviously, <laughs> had, the, had the support coming. Good communication from Lion Esports Club. And, and he just saw the initial. I mean, just with the one movement and the auto attack alone, I mean, that brought him to basically half life initially. So the yeah. level advantage has clearly taken place yeah. up there. But, and this all comes down to the lane swapping early on. If yeah. you're not in the lane to like keep that at your around your tower so you can actually leech experience, yeah. you're fucked. Oh. Thank oh, Forsaken Archer picked off. Here we go, though. Four players here again. All five were here from DCX, but they can't get any counters. Kraken ported in. He has his ultimate. Couldn't make it happen, though. Tempest coming in. Couldn't get an opportunity. So that all started with a hook from Devour and Forsaken. They followed it up. Uh, this is just, I mean, this is kind of an also a pseudo trial in middle here from Lions. I mean, Andromeda obviously continues to peek in. Uh, as does DCX with Tempest, but it's just getting kind of working out better for Lion Esports Club so far. Hansen is doing really well in yeah. roaming. It's really good job by him. Stop. Oh, just be up. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> He's yeah. like, I don't even. Choo -choo, I, 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 I want to say that shell serve initially. That was just very greedy on Bubbles' part. Yeah. He could have walked around the jungle and been fine, but he went to shell serve past him, get a creep kill, I think, and then try to yeah. go back. But oh my god, oh it's my just falling god. apart. Yeah, this is just grim. This is so wow. grim. Yeah. It's, it is. They're losing. This is almost. This is the only situation. I'm close to say it's almost impossible to come back from. When you lose every lane, they basically have nothing. If you pull up the GPM charge, look at that. It's just. It's yeah. really hard. Oh. This is your classic one-sided game. I mean, especially at this level, like a team like yeah. Lions is not going to just completely throw a game like this. Bottom. <laughs> Where they have oh. such an amazing lane. Yeah, bottom lane. I mean, that's a start at least. Wretched Ag. <laughs> Is picked off, so at least DCX showing signs of them. They're not giving up by any means. Yeah. They are still going to try to fight here, but obviously they need a lot more to come top, together. Top, this top. is not going to help. Yeah, Bubbles at the top lane. Going to use that quick takeover, but look at the easy damage. He's only level start. three, so it's not even necessarily a lot of burst damage. Just more so he only has 530 life so far, so <laughs> he just drops so quickly. And Tromeda's trying to hide, though. She does have a TP. Yeah. Going to use it right there. Yep, Forsaken Archer not going to be able to stop that, so. Easy poured out from Hanskin, and as you said, Hanskin's just been doing a great job of roaming as well. He's got the Striders, a power supply now. He's 3-0-2 out of the seven kills in total, so five of the seven he's been involved in here. Tempest, I mean, he's had the ultimate out for a little bit. He's level seven here. You know, maybe trying to get him to push a lane, I guess, try to maybe push this top lane here. But, uh... Yeah, he, can, he can't do too much in a Tempest because... They, as I said, they're losing every lane, so it's hard for them to set up things. They need at least four heroes to set up kills, yeah. or they need a Kraken ultimate, and they have that in 40 seconds. So, yeah, but they should definitely, when they have the Kraken ult, they should look to do something. They, they have to. Yeah, they don't have many options here again. You see Devour, he's trying to get the angle right here in the middle lane, but not going to find it. Instead, they're going to collapse in the top rune, and it happens to be a regen rune. Yeah. No bit disappointed in Super KT. No big, big hooks yet. <laughs> I had higher thoughts of him. So. Seriously. <laughs> Yeah. How dare he? He doesn't get big hooks. This team's winning pretty well, but yeah. no thanks to him. No. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's doing enough, obviously, but yeah, we haven't seen that huge, huge hook necessarily coming yeah. out just yet. But again, hasn't been necessary. But here we go with the top lane. Kraken, as you talked about, he has his ultimate now coming up. Yeah. So they're trying. Moon Queen's porting out, though. Moon Queen's going bottom, so. <laughs> yeah. They know that yeah. they want to fight them. So there's no reason for them to, like... <laughs> The Forsaken Eye is 170 GPM. He, how is he gonna catch up to A, it's a Moo Queen, and, and he's like, what, 200, well, 230 GPM ahead of him, 10 minutes in. Yeah. It's, I know Ember is a great farmer, but let's see what he can do. Yeah, Forsaken Archer, it's. He needs a little bit of time the also to start taking off, too. The but. On tower. And you see the top tower being pressured, but the bottom tower goes down. Middle lane, Bubbles is here, but he's just worrying about living more so than anything. He is going to shell surf away. And that'll be an easy tower kill for them. So they're going to continue pushing bottom, but there you go. The top tower is taken out by Justice League, but that is a two-for-one tower exchange here. 
Uh, they might just keep the ball going here, though, and I guess again they're 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 pretty bit, they're pretty desperate, but uh, they're going to be giving up another tower, a secondary tower, bottom themselves, and they're probably not even going to get this top one. Yeah, and this is in. this is like same as last game. Lead inside has the late game advantage because yeah. they have the Moon Queen and the Andrew for the Tempest Hole. On paper, they have to stop the hole every time. You never know, but yeah, they just want to trade towers and farm. The well, they can farm heroes as well tower. as yeah. Bubbles gets picked off. And if you're going to be doing this, that's the last thing you need if you're a DCX. You get picked off yeah. as well. So that does not help. But yeah, so despite them pushing in two towers top lane, you see the big picture. I mean, they lost three towers themselves. And they lost a hero on top of that. So, And uh, you already are behind. Now, Engineer is actually in a bad spot. He does have energy. Feel good. He's right here. Devaro summon. The Tsunami charge going to miss right there. He goes right up there. He pulls him into the oh. to the ultimate right there. Tem's going to be locked down. He eventually gets done, though, by the release of Kraken. Devourer might be in some trouble now. Can he get the support in time? Meanwhile, down here, Moon Finale. Bobbles is going to fall inside. The Tempest ultimate pulling back in. In comes the Forsaken Archer ultimate with the piercing arrows, and they will take out Devourer. So, so far, two for one exchange in favor of the Hellborn team, actually. And both Andromeda and Moonquin are going to have to fall back. Wretched Hag is coming in right now to maybe try to clean up. Oh, she can maybe blink in Bat Blast here. There we go, some initiation cracking. Yeah, in some trouble. She has a Bat Blast. Not going to use it, though. She blinks in. There's a Bat Blast. It only hits Forsaken Archer, but that should be enough for the kill right there. She's going to be chased down. Compass coming out. Swap on a Pyromancer. Yes. Down goes Forsaken. Pyromancer actually able to juke away for now. Turret Slow is going to come out. A couple of charges on him. Will it be enough for the chase? Of course it will. Moon Queen's charging. It doesn't have the Moonbeam, actually, but uh, I think TP's price is just buying his time. Oh, nice Dragonfire's done, but there's oh. a keg. No, he's going to miss that, actually. He's going to live. <laughs> Wow, he's actually going to live in the end. Yep. So, not able to chase him down. But, again, end result still in favor of Line Esports Club. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a sign of hope there for TTX. That's, they got two big kills. Yeah. So, but they turned it with the hack. Great rotation, and it's well played by Lions again. They're really outplaying them this game, outlaning them. Yeah. They are. They are. It's 13 and a half minutes in, and... Lions lead, 9,400 gold in. And again, you look at Moon Queen, what she has, very similar to what Imba Boy was doing last game. You see 530 GPM. So upwards of getting closer to that 600 gold per minute mark. Around yeah, 15 to 17 minutes. And the most scary part is, it's not all in Moon Queen here. They have a yeah. hack to follow up. So True. we saw Jonas last game. He's quite effective on that hack. He is, he is. And a glowstone just purchased by Andromeda. <laughs> Holy crap. Level 6 Andro. Are we going to see the staff? Yeah, if I mean, probably. It's a hell of an item to have, honestly. Yeah, it is. On Andromeda, the especially earlier on. So. Why not? If you get the PK. farm for it. Yeah, P can devour as well. Oh, jeez, yeah. That, that helps, too. Yeah, Devour is also doing very well. 400 GPM. Again, we haven't seen maybe the huge hooks from him, but again, he's doing enough for his team right here. Yeah. Icon of I, the Goddess. I like it. Uh, I feel like every time I click on Jonas, he has the 3k gold. <laughs> Obvious hacks. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, he just bought the icon, yeah. Yeah, they just want to, I think they just want to fight them. They can as well. No point not to, yeah. Triple stack ancients on their side. I think they're waiting for Moon Queen, but Moon Queen's actually bought him. He's running into a little bit of trouble here. Oh, oh Fuzi, he's standing a little too long right here. He's going to go for the TP. Will this work, though? Yeah, he's dead. Cuffield, yep. He's oh. dead. Yeah, Fuzi got a little too occupied there. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. You see, they're even playing safe. <laughs> Someone they, they do not want to collapse right there. They know he has a moon finale. <laughs> so they were playing that actually really safe. The, the fun part, no response from his team at all. They're yeah. Like, yep, you're they're dead. like, dude, fuck, what, what fuck, were you doing? You. They yeah. even had a T1 tower. They just start doing the ancients themselves. They're like, okay, you're dead, so we'll just not waste our time. Yeah, so, I mean, that's, that's a big kill, obviously, from... Uh, from DCX coming out, and they are going to get a tower on top of this. The, have destroyed the biggest kill. Tower. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it is the biggest kill that they can get, so. You know, again, a step in that right direction of staying in it at least. God, heck, so tanky. Yeah. But 1200 live with interests on. Yeah. That's a lot. That, uh, that definitely is. Uh, you see here. As far as, uh, as far as that's concerned, I mean, the 1400 life on top of the region that he's going to start adding up. Just ideally. Oh, they got an eye now? So I think they do, yeah. Oh, that's really good. Like, that's one of the things if you're behind, you kind of have to buy an eye, because then you can move their wards and try to get a pick off. Yeah. So, and they just got the wards in their jungle. They have no wards in their own jungle now, so. 
I actually don't see a lot of lithium wards anywhere. We have a lame wolf bottom, and is that it? That's actually it. Yeah. Yeah. That is. Yeah, oh, they're, they're he, out. He, he whipped his hold on the bubbles. He did miss the kill for them. They're actually a hook attempt, maybe? No, no gonna be in between. God damn it, Super KD. <laughs> Hit your hooks. He's off this game. He's off. Yeah. Uh, they're still going in the middle lane, though. Wretched actually is level 11. And again, obviously, lines, they know they're in a spot that they can definitely start fighting. You see Moon Queen actually buying the Blessed Orb, so she's going to be going oh, first item. Geometer's being, but yeah, they catch Tempest. The Moon Finale comes out. Tango Tempest right away. Kraken gets the release of Kraken off, but he's Tsunami charges away, trying to live. They will counter kill Andromeda as they actually swapped out Debo there, but it just doesn't matter. Forsaken Archer in the background, he's going to be first it down. Tempest uh, goes to the hole, actually, gets three, but the Keg's had to stop it. And at that point, his team was already dead. Quad kill for Jonas, the fan coming out. And those no charges are now plentiful. Yeah, There's the GG one blades. Yeah. Look, he's full, he's full health and life after well, that. <laughs> and mana. Just Icon. about, yeah. Icon good in cases like that. Well, there you go. Yeah, that was that was a little different than game one. Yeah, I mean, not much to say. I feel like they got really drafted. Well played by Lions. Great lane setup. Just yeah. made them win every single lane. Not much DCX can do about it. Yeah. So and obviously. Yeah. Well played by Lions, uh, and you, yeah. do, you do wonder a little bit too if DCX also, again, they they knew that they had chances in game number one, so maybe affecting them going into game number two from uh, from a mental state even. But yeah, I think it really was just the, the laning phase. Obviously, again, they called them on it, and uh, they set it up very, very well. So Lions deserving of all the credit in the world there as far as that victory goes. And that means they're going to take the 2 nothing series win here. In the uh, in the losers bracket round of four, losers bracket round two, whatever you want to call it. Yep. And most importantly, they're going to be moving on. Uh, so, by the way, the other series, I actually f forgot to update you guys on that, but uh, the other series, I believe it's still in game two. It looks like it is still in game two. Game one went to Internet Gangsters. A fairly easier victory for them, it looks like. Game number two, you see actually monitoring the game here. It looks like IG, once again, is in a pretty comfortable spot, a little bit longer of a game. Although they actually are down on towers and racks, so <laughs> that is kind of interesting there. And there is the Moon Queen factor. Zai's playing Moon Queen. Over there on Fade to Black. Yeah, Zai doing his Moon Queen thing. So, well, we'll have to wait and see how that one plays out. And actually, speaking of that, that is over there on Coldcast, of course. So you guys should be heading over there now, twitch.tv slash Coldcast. As, uh, as Lion Esports Club, they're also going to be waiting at this point to see who they're going to be playing in the following round now. Uh, and what is the loser's bracket semifinal. So that means we're also going to be on a little bit of a break here, guys. Um, our next match actually isn't set to start for just over an hour from now. So depending on, obviously, maybe if this ends up being the series, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe they try to do it a little bit earlier. Maybe not, though. It might still happen at the same time. So if anything, we'll obviously keep you guys updated in terms of what's going on. And when we have an exact dance, I'll let you guys know as well uh, what the deal is. But at this point, the planned time is 3 p.m. Eastern, 2100 Central European time. And as you see on the updated brackets now, that'll be Lions versus the winner of that IG versus Fade to Black series. So looking forward to that. And uh, that's what we're going to finish off with today on what is a Friday. So, Hacks, uh, thank you for co-casting. I don't know. you think you're going to be able to stick around for that one too? or? Uh, probably not. I'm okay. going to go out with my girlfriend, I think. Uh, uh, really? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Breaky. Ugh. Ugh, whatever, <laughs> dude. When I see this. <laughs> All right. All right. It was uh, fun no. casting, though. It was. It was. It always is, Haxer, and I definitely appreciate uh, you coming on, man, and uh, joining me as a co-caster. Yeah. So, so since you are going to be...